diagrams and charts are essential part of a teacher's job. We have to deal with multiple types of diagrams and charts irrespective of what subject we are teaching. We need to create class diagrams, ER diagram or simple flow chart. And the problem that most of the teachers face that they do not know graphics design tool. And even if you know graphics design tool, the graphics design tool is not dynamic. So every time you want to make a small change in the diagram, you have to change everything in the diagram and only then you can make the change. Diagrams can be created even in PowerPoint. But still, the problem is same that for any small change, we have to do a lot of work. Why can't it be simple rather than I simply say that I want to go from node A to B and it just creates a diagram for me. And that is not possible. And I am absolutely not talking about AI at all. I am talking about a language that is known as Mermaid. Even though I am saying language, don't think that you have to write code. No, you have to logically write the relationship between your nodes. That's all. Nothing else. So Mermaid, the tool that you are seeing right now on your screen is available for everybody to use. It's free and open source. Good thing is that it can be integrated in many softwares that you are working with already. So I'll talk about all these things later, but let's see how Mermaid works and what it can do for us. So let's click on this live editor on top. But before I click on live editor, I would like to show you where you have to visit. You have to go to this website, mermaid.js.org. And on this website, you will go to live editor so that you can work on the codes. Here you can see many sample diagrams. Here you can see a simple interface. It says here you have to write your code and here the diagram will be visible that you can download later. I'll talk about how you can download it. Let's look at this sample diagram because it's very useful for everyone. We don't have to start from scratch. We can select one of the diagram that we want to create. The diagrams which is provided by default in Mermaid are sequence, diagram, flow diagram, class diagram, state diagram, Git diagram, user journey, Gantt, ER, Pi, mind map and quant chart. So if you want to create a simple diagram, let us say flow diagram, just click on it. And it will load a sample diagram for you. I will just talk about this code so you don't uh, afraid of the code. It says that I want to create a flow chart. So flow chart is written. TD means top to down. That is why this is starting from top and going till down. If you want to start from left to right, then simply write L to R, L R, and then the diagram will go from left to right. Then comes point A to for two, you have to write an arrow. See, this is how you think actually. A to B. So A, forget about Christmas and get money. Just focus on A to for that, you have to write these two dashes, then arrow, then B. That's all. And the thing which is written in brackets, big brackets, that will be the name of the node, like Christmas is written here. Anything that's between pipe, see, this is pipe. It will be the name of that direction or that arrow or a notation of that arrow. And finally, when you are writing it in this small bracket, then it is nothing but the name of the node. But this time node is little round on the corner and here it was absolutely 90 degree. So this is the only difference. Then you are saying B to C. See, you are saying B to C. The B is what? Go shopping. So go shopping to see it's going. Then you want to create a biscuit or diamond for that you have to simply write c to d c to e c to f you are not worrying about 
creating the diamond on your own. It's created because it's not going to one place. It is automatically going to multiple nodes. That is why it's already created. Let's not just look at it. Let's just create one on our own. And we will keep it absolutely simple. So we are creating a flow chart that goes from left to right. And I am saying node A to node B. So this is how I am written. Now I am saying from B to node D and again from B to node E. So you see, I don't have to worry about creating the path on my own. It's created automatically. But this time the box of B is rectangle. I don't want it. I want a diamond. So for that, what I will do, wherever I'm defining B, I will just put these brackets. And I will give it a name. For example, if whatever condition you make, like B greater than 1. So when you use these brackets, this is converted to diamond shape. If the bracket is big brackets, then it's normal rectangle without rounding corner. And when you are selecting small brackets, then it's rounded corners. Similarly, if let us say I want to connect now this D to E, then what I have to do? I just simply write D and I will write, make an arrow from D to E. That's all. This is how it will automatically restructure the diagram also. You don't have to think about how I can put it in correct way. It will put it in a correct readable manner. Let's now do something more. I want to give a name to this arrow. Okay. So this arrow is going from B to E. So I will go to this B to E. And in this direction, I want to give a name to the arrow. So before E, see not after E, before E, I will put two pipes and I will give it a name of arrow. See, this is how you can define name of arrow of any and if I want to give E a name then I will give E a proper name in this manner and that is how you can create your complete diagram in fact if you want to connect E to A again all you have to do is E then to A and done I have connected it so this is how you can create the flow charts isn't it simple similarly if you explore any diagram for example class diagram look at the example as you can see there is a class defined class duck then class fish then class zebra and this is how these class are defined and they all are pointing to another class which is animal class and in order to do so they are simply create connecting to this with the help of this symbol see duck to animal fish belongs to animal zebra belongs to animal like this if we go talk about ER diagram, then it's like this. You have to simply write ER diagram and then start thinking about your entities. So customer is an entity which has delivery address. So it is how it is written. Customer has order and it places order. Customer liable for invoice. So all the things are written logically how you create and it then converts them into the diagram. Once your diagram is ready, let's say I want to talk about this flow diagram and this diagram is ready, but it's not useful for me, isn't it? Right now, how will I use it? So in order to use it, you have to download it either in the PNG format or SVG format or in some other shareable format. So for that, I will just go to actions tab in this. I'll click on actions and then click on one of the format that I like, for example, PNG or SVG. If you want to define a different width or height, you can do so by simply selecting width or height or you can just say auto and then click on PNG. 
this will download the file in png format it has downloaded i will now just open this file for you see this is png now i do not need to tell you that once you have png you can use it in word file or you can use it in any of the software that allow you to embed images even on your website but mermaid's capability does not end here it's more than that Rather than using the live editor from Mermaid, what you can do, you can connect with the tool that you are already using. For example, here we will go to integrations available, then you will be able to understand what I am talking about. So let's go to integrations available. And you see that this is integrated with GitHub, GitLab, Gaitia, Azure DevOps, Tulip, Mermaid Flow Visual Editor, Deep Down, Joplin, what not. You just think about it. See, it's even connected with Obsidian. If you do not know about Obsidian, I am going to cover it in one of my video very soon. You just subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any information that is useful for teachers. So it is connected with all these productivity tools. And it is also connected with CRM or ERPs. It's connected with blogging platform like WordPress. Hexo, Nextra. It's also connected with uh, enterprise content management like WhitePress, ViewPress, GraphCMS. I am going to cover GraphCMS soon. Then it also connects with communication tools like Discord, MatMoss, PHP, VB, NodeVB. You are working on wikis like Wikimedia, sorry, like MediaWiki, like Semantic MediaWiki, FossWiki, DocuWiki it connects with all of them so that means you can simply write the code in the wiki and it will convert that into the basically it will render that into the proper diagram or proper flowchart these are the editor plugin if you don't want to use mermaid's default editor what you can do either you connect with one of your system in fact for superteacher.link we are providing it embedded so if you have a superteacher.link account you can simply create diagrams directly without worrying about installing anything. Similarly, you can use any of these editors and create diagrams directly into your favorite editor. In fact, Google Drive is also supported. I'll just search for Google Docs. See, Google Docs is supported. You simply need to install this plugin for Google Doc and then you can write the code directly in your Google Doc. You don't have to jump to multiple websites in order to write your mermaid chart or mermaid uh, diagram tool. So I believe you get the idea how you can create diagrams with the help of Mermaid. I suggest all of you to please try it once because this is one tool that all teachers must know. Once you learn it, it's going to make your task very easy. The most important thing that I like about this tool, if I make a mistake, I don't have to worry about creating up everything again or picking one set of node and then another set of node and then making some connections. I can simply do so by making the amendment here directly like from C to E. Done. Or C to D or C to G. Like this I can create. In fact, I can say, okay, let's say B to G. And I would like to give it a diamond as well. So I'll say B is this if. So I believe you like Mermaid, just try it and let me know how do you find my tutorial. If you want to know anything else that you believe useful to you but you don't know how to do, then I am the person, you just come back to me, come back to ET Mantra, write in the comment of this video and I'll help you to do that in the easiest possible manner. Thank you very much.